Welcome back to Ortho Implants for Life, your one-stop channel to learn about orthopedic implant industry. Today we will learn about periprosthetic implants and instruments. So let's jump into the video. The plate itself is called the periprosthetic plate. It's generally used for patients who have had a bipolar or prosthesis procedure. The upper two holes in the plate are for passing the cable. The smaller plate is known as the GT plate and it's used when the patient has a fracture in the greater trochanter GT, or for smaller fractures during normal prosthesis procedures. The periprosthetic plates have 11 to 17 holes and are available for the left and right leg. Now, we are showcasing the 4.5 mm cortical screw, which ranges in length from 20 to 50 mm and two sets of the screw are provided for procedure. This is the 5 mm locking screw for the periprosthetic plate. It's called a locking screw because, once it's inserted, it locks the plate because of these threads here. We don't have to even go all the way through with the screw to lock. As you can see even if I am pulling the screw it is stuck. These screws are specifically designed for the periprosthetic plate with lengths ranging from 20 to 60 mm and a 5 mm diameter. Next, we have the K-wire, which is 1.5 to 2.5 mm in size, used for holding the plate in place. Next is the 3.9 mm drill sleeve, which is used for the 5 mm locking screw, followed by the 3.2 mm drill bit, which is designed for the 4.5 mm cortical screws. Moving on, we have the 3.9 mm drill bit used specifically for the 5 mm locking plates. And the 4.5 mm screwdriver, which is for the 4.5 mm cortical screw. This is the 3.5 mm star-headed screwdriver which is used for the 5 mm locking screw. Finally, we have the 4.5 mm tap, which is used for the 4.5 mm vertical plate. That's all for that is used for periprosthetic implants and instruments. This is called a depth gauge. followed by the cable guide. This instrument is used to pass the cable around the bone and plate with ease. We use this hole in the stem area to pass the cable and it comes out from this end right here. This instrument is called the tight cable tool with front and back cable pressure lock which is used to lock the cable during the procedure. This is called a flat connector crimper which is used to hold the cable in place before we cut the excess part out. This is a cable cutter that is used to cut excess cable. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. 
थैंक यू एंड सी यू इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो